Capricorn, welcome to your February 2024 tarot reading prediction. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal, all the information you need is below in the description box. Capricorn, let's see. Capricorn, February 2024. There is a sense of disappointment with the Five of Cups. Yes, a sense of disappointment, loss, regret. Um, or it's just something is not bringing you joy as it used to could be your job maybe it's just not doing this for you anymore yeah okay mm -hmm. i'm hearing that a lot okay okay that, that it feels very comfortable to the point that it becomes uncomfortable i really hope this is making sense something that feels is so comfortable that feels uncomfortable yes I, I i felt it i felt it so we have the knight of wands and the knight of wands oh my goodness the knight of wands does not look for comfort he doesn't care he's all about experiences and going out there not overthinking enjoying life being spontaneous Okay, this is not uh the knight of wands is is not someone that you can put in a box or an or in a comfortable situation because he will definitely feel uncomfortable and he will he will he will somehow some some way will find a way to release to to to, to break through to break through so Capricorn, a breakthrough, or or something that is outside from you, a part of you, not so much explored. I don't know if you are from those that uh, always say yes. Maybe you are. I don't know, especially for the people that you love and you care for. It's very hard to say no. Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Now is the time and not in a selfish way, but it's time to put the energy and the focus back to you. Okay. And there is something here that is ahead. It's like It's, it's just not doing it for you. You're not getting pleasure out of this. You're not, it's not giving you joy. It's more, it's more is like suffocating you. Capricorn. And obviously you need to do something about it. It could be a relationship, a friendship, a marriage, a contract, a job. A career. Okay. There's also confusion here. What did I do? Hopefully I saw this. Confusion. Maybe there are other options. Or there are options that are arising, but you are doubting here a little bit, Capricorn. On the bottom of the deck, we have the star. Okay, and first card for you, wow, is the Nine of Pentacles, a strong, independent individual, surrounded by abundance. Seven of Swords is something that you don't want to see, though. There is a form, some kind of de deception here, a form of, of deception on, or not seeing something clearly. We have the Empress, Capricorn, the Six of Swords, 
the Ace of Swords. It's a lot of um, clarity here. A lot of clarity. And the Page of Wands. Wow. Okay. Okay. Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands have similar energies. It's a youthful, youthful energy that does not overthink. It's spontaneous. But that is carries carries a lot of wisdom. It's not an immature energy. Actually, it's not. And I do see the breakthrough here. Let's start clarifying. I'm going to start, of course, with the Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. The Nine of Pentacles for Capricorn. Nine of Cups. You definitely have something in mind. Like, like, like. You you know you know what is you know what you want you know what is your ninth cup you you are aware that is very clear to you yes let's see for Capricorn the nine of Pentacles with the nine of Cups Capricorn, four of wands, stability, growth, safety. This is also a marriage, a long term relationship. This is a foundation of a business. There's also an inner foundation that is, I'm hearing, un unbreakable. Okay. So this is a strong foundation here, very strong. Five of Wands. Fighting. Capricorn, this is your energy. You are the King of Pentacles. And there is also the High Priestess here. That intuitive part of you, side of you. It, it feels like you are giving some kind of a fight here to to protect to protect your foundation inner outer doesn't matter you're you're definitely or maybe I feel like you are or maybe you are in need to put some kind of boundaries other people want what you have it doesn't have to just could be just one person that is causing a bit of a drama here, a bit of a bit of drama. Five of Wands with the Four of Wands, please, for Capricorn, the High Priestess. And again, we have the Queen of Pentacles this time underneath the deck. There is the, the, your your spirit guides are showing you something. It could be yes. I say spirit guides, but it could be anyone, your ancestors, angels, whatever you believe in. It doesn't really matter. This is the higher power that is, 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 is showing you something here so clearly. I don't know if this is you fighting with yourself, fighting your, your heart with your mind, or could also mean that. But the high priestess is, is giving you signs, is giving you signs, is, 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 is yes, of, of what is uh, you need to do, what you have to do in order perhaps to, to, to avoid drama or conflict. Yeah, but let's see who is this uh, in, in the Seven of Swords energy. Who is this in the Seven of Swords? Seven of Swords energy. Oh, someone, this is someone very stingy. Mm, holding something, like holding very tightly.
this person is not letting go, is holding on. What? Seven of uh, Swords with the Four of Pentacles here, Capricorn. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone that is very like, um, this could be a, a, a manipulator or someone that is very well in, in, in communication, like uh, is a good speaker, is a, a communicator. I just heard that this person has, um, what is that? Or things that is very, very smart. This could be a person of authority. I don't know if authority is, is be, this is like, okay. Maybe you do have some kind of like legal, legal issues. Could be. Like this could be, oh, definitely this could be like legal issues or a court or, or a settlement I'm hearing. This could also be a, a inner like, um, 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 how you call this in English? Um, a meeting. Yes, it could be a meeting. Thank you, that was easy. A meeting. I do see people coming together and, 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 and yes, and having a meeting. Disgusting, disgusting, discussing <laughs> about an issue, a problem. This could be again at a, a, a family gathering or at work, like a business um, thingy. Whoa, okay, I struggled. Empress, Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, Victory, you're coming in strong, you're holding the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, again, this is like a, a workspace, a work environment, a workspace. Maybe you're, you're bringing your propositions in, you're opening, it like, could be. Wow. Or maybe this is what you should do. Like, don't block yourself or... Yeah, again, you are communicating something here or you are called or you are... Somehow, some way, you need to speak. You need to talk. You need to speak. Maybe you are also representing a group of people. That's another thing that I'm getting here. There, there's the breakthrough. The breakthrough is here. A, a, a ten of wands energy is being lifted off your shoulders. Something that has, is, has been weighing you down and, and this has just been like gone. It, it, it's going to be gone. And then we have the ace of wands. And the sun is coming out. So again, very interesting. There, it's, it's obvious that you have been through, that you are going through something here that is difficult. Also with the devil here. Like also someone is like throwing, like they say here, like throwing ashes in your eyes so you don't see clearly. But you are seeing clearly. You will see clearly. You, you will not be deceived. You're not being deceived. Because you're holding the Ace of Swords, or yes. So again, there is, is, is a lot of clarity. Capricorn, this is your energy also with the devil. The devil is your energy. Refine, please, Capricorn. Refine Capricorn with the Ace of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands. And the magician. Mm. 
ruled, ruled by passion and excitement. And again, it feels like you are, 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 are like, just like moving on, moving forward. Uh, letting go of whatever feels so comfortable that makes you feel uncomfortable. You're walking away from that. You're turning your back to this. And you are definitely ready for something new, a new collaboration, a new uh, contract, a new soulmate contract. This is fate. This is destined. This is, um, yeah, this is, this is, this is meant to be. There is something here. You're being led here by, by this angel, Gabriel. And this is Gabriel. Yeah, this is in front of you. But there is, it feels that there is some, some kind of sacrifice that you need to, yeah, to make here. And I, I have to tell you that worrying is not going to change any outcome. Okay, Capricorn. Taking a risk. And this risk brings in love, brings in pentacles like but it's, it is a major transformation a major change maybe you are just like i don't know maybe you are considering traveling changing neighborhoods jobs friends just starting from scratch starting from 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 yeah from scratch Page of Wands and the Star. Reevaluating your whole life. And it's just like, again, we have the Page of Pentacles here, which is a, a, a newborn, a student. So it's all about starting something new that brings a lot of joy. And you have you have the you have the, the divine with you. The divine wants also this for you. This is why you are receiving signs and, and, and synchronicities. Let's see. Capricorn. What is your message advice, Capricorn? February. Boundaries. I am entitled to say no. Of course, you're. Oh, I'm sorry with the microphone. I hope that we didn't have any issues. This is something totally new for me. So, okay. Change me, divine beloved, into one who easily sets boundaries whenever needed. May I feel entitled to say no to any situation that feels bad or wrong. Fill me with divine confidence. Speak through me. Yes, I really hope this helped somehow, some way, Capricorn. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.